The other day I posted a photo on my Instagram showing off part of my office and a lot of you guys seem to really like that. I then started to read the comments and realized that you guys don't actually get to see what the office looks like besides where I'm sitting right now or at the table over here which is not much of the room so that's why I thought it would be fun today. And so I guess I could start by giving you guys a wide shot where you can see most of the stuff in the room and actually this is kind of what the photo looked like on my Instagram. I think you can pretty much see from like this wall over here to maybe like just about the Pac-Man machine something like that. But we can't talk about those yet because we have to go in some sort of order. So let's start just by the door. Where I have a bunch of 10 inch pops like the Cap and Crunch as well as Huckleberry Hound, Skeletor, Ezra, Iron Man Mark 43, one of my favorite 10 inch ones, as well as the Joker and Batman. And then just behind those guys, we've got a bunch of pops. And this is kind of like where I film. Like you guys would see, I guess, those two shelves at the end in my videos. But then over here, I guess you haven't really seen these. And this is where I house a lot of my ad icons, which is this shelf as well as this one this one and that one and then down in the middle here I've got a bunch of random Disney but it's for a good reason because I also have Disney down here I should probably put these together but that's for a later date and then above that we've got this kind of like random shelf as well as some Pokemon and we've got more video game ones and then above that we've got my Sanrio collection then way down at the bottom here we've got Harry Potter right next to the Disney ones that we talked about then above that we've got Foodie, some of my favorites in the collection then we've got pop around the world as well as well another random section and then above that we've got the myths characters. And now because this is the section that you guys would see in the videos all the time, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I guess I could show you guys what's up top here that you wouldn't normally see. Like Spongebob as well as some more Disney, we've got sports, and then over here we've got like a bunch of different Jim Henson stuff. I mean we've got Sesame Street as well as Fraggle Rock, and then the one Muppet that I've got in box, Sam the Eagle. And then this is pretty much what it would look like when I film the videos, and I try to put my favorite figures back here, like my Freddy Funkos as well as these ones back here, the Fantastic plastic plastic. We've got some more Disney as well as Pixar, some of my Hanna-Barbera, Stranger Things. Down here we've got the retro toys as well as Back to the Future and Anchorman. Actually this entire shelf is movies and I try to do them by category in the front. Oh and you guys might not have known this but behind the table way down at the bottom we've got my Pokemon set as well as Lilo and Stitch, The Office, and then over here is kind of like Halloween as well as horror characters which are also in the movies line but I tried to put them together the best I could. And then the last shelf that I haven't shown you over here would be this one and I do understand that down at the bottom here it's very random but I know what's down there I just don't have to make it look perfect because it's not on camera like these shelves and so this one is I believe the only television section that I've got then above that we've got some animation ones we've got more animation animation and then I believe animation up here too you know what I haven't even talked about the top of the shelves where I put a lot of my six inch as well as ten inch characters and this is the only spot where the ten inch ones fit because the ceiling is a little bit higher and then over here they fit perfectly and and then in between the two, I've got this one here, the Chase Jason Voorhees. Why? I'm not exactly sure. I figured it'd be fun to put something random there, and uh, this one fits. I was like, hey, why not? Plus, I think it's a little bit more special than just shoving it down at the bottom. Oh, and I guess I completely skipped over the table. So if you guys have never seen this one before, I actually ordered them from Structube. I got these there, as well as the chairs that I always sit in. Then down here, actually, I haven't talked about this figure yet, so you know what? We might as well today. This figure here is the Atrociraptor Red, and here in Canada, Indigo is started to get them in stock and it was the only Atrociraptor I was missing which was perfect. And if you haven't seen this one before it's the Atrociraptor where it almost looks like it's got like scrapes all over it. It's one of my favorites. Then right next to the television as well as anime shelf we've got this here guys my Pac-Man machine that my parents actually got me for Christmas one year and I love this thing and I want to get the riser for it eventually because it is a little bit short but it seems to be sold out everywhere so if anybody knows where I can get one please let me know in the comment section below. And then just past the Pac-Man machine we have this wall of figures and then this chair over here where Alf normally sits. I don't know where he- top, Alf here. Alf? Oh, hey! What are you doing? Well, I don't know. I felt like shooting my own video. Well, we're doing a video over here today. We're doing an office tour. Oh, so I got my wacky wall out for nothing? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I apologize that we were rudely interrupted, but anyways, let's get into these next shelves here that we were just talking about. We're over here on the left. We've got some pretty interesting ones. This is where I put like my smaller subcategories, if that makes sense. So like inside of the movies line, we've got Ghostbusters ones here, and it actually fills the entire thing, so I thought it was perfect. And then below that, we've got pretty much every single Scooby-Doo Funko Pop, and then down here, we've got all of the minions, and I like to keep a little bit of room if any new figures release. And now I moved the chair out of the way so we can see the icons as well 
as more icons, and I've got some of my Funko Gold characters, as well as more Disney, 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 and then Garbage Pail Kids. Oh, as well as two of my prototypes. And now that I think about it, I showed you guys the Mr. DNA, but I never did show you my Boober, and if you guys want to take a look at him, it is one of my favorites. My mom actually traded him at Fun Days for her podcast prototype. And if you guys are unaware, this is actually Boober from Fraggle Rock, one of my favorite lines to collect. I have every single one of them, and it's sick that I've now got a prototype. And now we kind of talked about these shelves earlier, but I figure I might as well at least tell you what the categories are. So down there, we've got the Simpsons. Then we've got some Simpsons as well as South Park, and then Simpsons above that. These ones are kind of a mix because I haven't got many South Park ones recently, so I figured I might as well put like the two Simpsons ones that I have extra in there as well. And then above that, we've got Rick and Morty as well as almost all of the directors. I'm missing like maybe three or four. It's a lot of the really rare ones, so they might take a while. And then to the right of them, we have the entire Star Wars shelf, and this goes completely down, and it's pretty much full besides like down here as well as those two spots up here. Oh, and actually, now that I think about it, we also have this Star Wars section as well where I put a lot of the comic book ones as well as some of my newer ones just in general, like Jar Jar Binks that I didn't get too long ago. Then I've also got some more Hanna-Barbera ones up at the top here, and I believe that this one is just a front, so I've got a lot more room for these guys. Then we've got some of my television ones, but like the live action television because for some reason Funko likes to do some of the animation ones in the television line and I don't really know why. Because take a look at this guys, the Chucky Finster from Nickelodeon is in the pop television category, but then when you look at the Danny Phantom, they put him in the pop animation one. Funko, please make it a little more what's the word? Give me some more continuity. Because they're both from Nickelodeon and they're both animated television shows. And now before I go on too big of a rant Let's keep going with this shelf here where I've got some of my U2s where they're just kind of random, I do know, but I had some room so I figured I might as well put them as well as some of my Disney Blacklight ones in the back. Ooh, uh, there we go, that's a little better. And then way down at the bottom, we've got more Disney and then I've got my U2 slippers. I just got these in the other day and they are super comfortable. I mean, they are literally plush for your feet. And now I guess we can get into the table, which is a little bit messy, but it's not too bad. Like I've got this custom golden hopper over here and this isn't the real one. I made a video on this a long time ago. If you guys want to check it out, when it first released, I found that they were selling these stickers on eBay, so I figured, hey, I might as well make one. And so this is not a legit figure, and I know a lot of people got mad at me for making this, but I figured, why not? It was just for fun. I'm never going to be selling it. And then also on this table here, we've got like some Pokemon cards, as well as tape and scissors, which I use for my videos a lot, like an extra battery charger, a Funko mug, some Lego, the rotating base that you guys see all the time in the videos, as well as just a buttload of Pokemon that I do not know where to put right now. Then we've got my second filming location, which you guys see a lot, and it's actually probably from something like this? Yeah, right about here. And so I figure since I'm gonna be filming here, I might as well put some plush on the couch. So we've got my Fall Guys one, as well as the U2's Godzilla, and then above that, this is all of my vaulted vinyl display vault airs, where I put a lot of my rarer and favorite figures. And so you guys can see we've got a Disney one, as well as ad icons, and then over here to the right, we've got Freddy Funko. Oh, and then in the window, this is where I put a couple of my 18 inch characters just because they are so massive I don't know where to put them. And then speaking of vaulted vinyl I also have this down here my vaulted vinyl display case if you guys want to check this out I've got a lot of my like super rare Freddy Funkos in it and I should probably do something with these and I know I am going to be doing a Freddy Funko collection video soon I'm just waiting on the rest of my fun day stuff to arrive. Then in the corner here we've got all of my skate decks and I do have pretty much every single one that Funko has created so far in recent years and I do know that there was one over at fun days which I did not get as well as one that came out a long time ago, like the Golden Girls one, that I was just never able to grab. And I do remember that they had them on the Funko shop for a while, like their own like skateboard shop. I wasn't able to get any of those either, even though I really do want some. And if you guys haven't checked out my Fun Days video yet, I definitely recommend it because we get some really, really crazy figures in that one. And now here we've got just like a random section with like my play button, which I still need to hang up, as well as some bigger figures like the gelatinous cube, as well as these guys down here, which are some of my favorites. I just don't know where to put them. Then above that, we've got some 10 inch ones as well as the Burrow with Molly Weasley, and then again, some of my favorite stuff like my U2s, like the figure as well as the plush, which you can still get at U2s.com. And then up here, guys, we've got my giant Lego picture frame. It's crazy. Oh, and I can't forget to talk about this one, guys. My first ever Funko Pop, Sheldon Cooper, the one that I got for my brother back in 2014. So now that we've gone through this half of the room, let's get into the kind of newer section because we did just add a few shelves over here that I think are some really great additions to the room because my dad was kind of bored for a couple 
couple days and he wanted to kind of like renovate a little bit so we added these bad boys right here so now it's almost like a bit of a nook when walking through here and if you guys want to check it out it's pretty cozy I like it and before we get into what's on the inside I guess I can show you guys this because there isn't really much going on here it's just like a lot of the bigger figures that I didn't really know where to put and eventually these shelves here are gonna be looking more like these ones over here but because I don't really have enough to fill it I figured it could be fun to show these guys off just a little bit better oh and then also down at the bottom here we do have some of my 18 figures with Groot as well as Harry Potter now let's try to get inside of this nook and I think we're gonna start with over here where I've got all of my sodas finally on display and this is one of the new sections that my dad was working on and down at the bottom here we don't actually have the same shelves like we do up top but this is like a lot of the random ones down here and I guess they're kind of categorized as well as these guys up here which is a full shelf and it's pretty crazy the amount of figures we fit into it then above this this is what all of the shelves are gonna look like eventually we just didn't have enough of those little risers that we've got behind them and then above that we've got another shelf full of figures and then way up at the top here they don't actually fit like the normal risers so I'm gonna have to figure out something else I'm thinking maybe some like really low spice racks might work something like that oh you know what guys I was a little bit zoomed in there we go that's a bit better and I do understand that most of them are hard to see but I'm working on it and now we can go over to the right a little bit where we've got a lot more of the television ones kind of like the live action stuff again as well as Fortnite, and then a bunch of my signed Funko Pops and I do understand it's kind of hard to see them up there but there's uh, definitely some signatures on them then a little bit lower we've got all of my Funko Pop pins and I even have some of my rare ones in here let me see if I can find that one for you yeah here it is here guys I like to keep it a little bit in the back kind of hidden my golden Freddy idol pin this one here was gifted to me by Funko and I cannot thank them enough especially because it was the first pop pin ever created then way down at the bottom here we've got like a couple random things as you can see I've got them split up so the left side there is DC and then the right side is Marvel and then if you look way in the corner that's a couple six inch pops then these shelves are actually really easy to go through because there's only two things going on here in this shelf we've got all DC as well as Batman at the bottom here which is also DC but I do have them separated and then over on these two shelves every single one of these figures is Marvel and I try to put the new ones in the front but because you don't see them on camera it doesn't really matter and then way up at the top here we've got more Sesame Street as well as the normal boober and then we've got Cookie Monster as well as a bunch of my pop comics then down at the bottom I've got this soda display that was gifted to me by K Dog and Fish and I also have the newer soda display above that I like to kind of put them together because they really do look nice oh and you know what I almost forgot to show you guys the inside shelf where I've got a lot of my newer stuff like the SDCC figures as well as Popsies and then above that just some random stuff that I've got recently then I guess the last thing I've got to show off is right here next to the door again because these were the things that we took a look at at first and now down here at the bottom we've got the Lego Daily Bugle and now a lot of you guys are probably wondering Tristan why do you have it on the floor in your office and if I'm gonna be honest I just have no clue where to put this thing it's like a meter tall where would you put it and so there you go guys that was the office tour and I hope that you guys did enjoy because it was a lot of fun to show you guys everything in here because for the most part I talk about the newer stuff that I bring in and I don't really mention the older stuff that we've had for a while so I enjoy doing it and anyways I hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more from me in the future don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that but this has been an upside top pops popsters thanks for watching See you guys tomorrow. All singing low, while I pop a bottle off of your chain swinging, clang, clang, and it costs a lot. Bitch, I'm always at the gola, yeah, and you are not bad.